Hi Descendants, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to give you a short update on the latest patch that just dropped 1.1.1. In this hotfix, they're dropping, they're increasing the drop rates for Haley even more and they're also making invasion dungeons super easy. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and maybe if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and let's talk about the update right away. Alright, so let's take a look at the hotfix on their official page. I did highlight the most important thing, so let's talk about these over here. Now let's talk about Order of Truth, the dungeon with the tumors, the one that has been a pain in the butt for everyone, including me sometimes. So they made some significant changes over here. They changed the symbols. First of all, now the symbols are going to be less and easier to recognize. They also rotated the pillars always to be facing inwards. They removed the empty pillars and now it will be way easier to clear out those pillars. Also, they changed the drones so they will display the symbols now vertically, which is also a great improvement. And they increased the fire rate of the, of the energy weapon that you get from those drones. So this is going to be a way faster clear and, and progression to the next stage of these dungeons overall it seems like these changes are gonna make these dungeons way more easier so i'm more than excited to check out those dungeons once they hit rotation probably tomorrow and now let's talk about the other type of dungeon improvements now legion of immortality the dungeon where you collect the artificial brains have been reworked as well basically they made them way faster to complete instead of 20 uh, brains and 15 that you need to complete uh, collect and drop in the box now you have to collect only 10 here is a little bit of footage from today's rotation from today's invasion dungeon i actually checked out the improvements and i can confirm that it is way easier and faster now to clear out those dungeons honestly this has not been a big problem in terms of a mechanic for me uh, as dungeons it was more the tumor game and the collar game now, speaking of the color game, the Legion of Darkness dungeons now also changed a little bit. They changed the symbols, they added symbols to the tiles, and now it will be way easier and faster to recognize. And they also removed the suicide bombers that used to blow up these tiles. Now, I've tested these as well. This is a way easier and convenient change for these dungeons, so hopefully you folks will have an easier time completing these. Let's talk about very quickly about the invasion reinforcements, the seasonal perks. They have been buffed and they removed the, uh, the penalties from these. So now you will get more perks and survivability out of these. Now that's a very positive change because now we can focus on more DPS instead of survivability in our builds. Let's talk about here a few other changes that I kind of highlight over here. They buffed Excava, the perk for Excava from 35% to 51 and another interesting change is that they actually nerfed the HP and defense stats for uh, Pyromaniac. They also increased the points for some dungeons like Magister's Lab. And now these will be uh, easier to complete with high points so that you can get the double amorphous materials. The developers actually mentioned in their developers notes that they actually want to buff the seasonal perks to give us more survivability so that we can be more aggressive in our builds now honestly i do like that mindset because so far we have been always trying to uh, maximize the dps in all of our builds and having a couple of seasonal perks that are actually buffing our def defensive stats is now actually a pretty cool adjustment let me know in the comments below what do you think about this update how do you think that this is overall a positive change and if you're missing something actually let me know in the comments below because we're trying to communicate with developers through social media we as a community i constantly receive feedback on my live streams on twitch about things that don't work things that don't like and i always try to reach out and post tweets in their official twitter account and those actually get a lot of traction so you never know what kind of feedback is going to hit the developers and is going to make an impact for future changes so it's really crucial for us to try to communicate and uh, you know be vocal about the things that we want to change because it seems that this develop these developers are actually trying to listen to the community which is a very good sign and i really enjoy playing this game 
every single day i hope you enjoyed this short update for the latest patch if you do enjoy it make sure to hit that subscribe and i'll see you in the next update good luck with your drops